All right. So let's get into aircraft systems. So you have different controls on your aircraft. Mm -hmm. What are some examples of primary flight controls? So primary would be your ailerons, your rudder, and your elevator. Right. And secondary flight controls? Flaps and trim. Right. So what would be the purpose of your flaps? So one would be to steepen your angle of descent, uh, a shorter ground roll, and a lower airspeed to touch down at as well. Yeah, so why would you want to touch down at a slower airspeed? Well, for one, you're not going to float for so long, you know. Um, you can at least touch down. And if you're fast and you do touch down, then your ground roll is going to be a lot further or longer. And you don't want that either, especially if you floated for so long, which you more than likely will. And not enough runway. So, right. Yep. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your engine? So we have a Lycoming L2A or IO360 L2A, which is a fuel injected engine. It's horizontally opposed, air cooled, uh, naturally aspirated, and a direct drive. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what does uh, naturally aspirated mean? It's basically like it doesn't have like a turbocharger or like a servo or a supercharger that's like compressing any of that air. It's mm -hmm. just, it has like its own compression system that's like taking in natural air versus a turbocharger and a supercharger. So you have a reciprocating engine. How many strokes are in a cycle for that engine? We have four. Yep, and are you able to name those? So we have intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Yep. And can you tell me a little bit about the landing gear in your aircraft? We just have a fixed tricycle landing gear, so there's not like we can't retract them or anything. It's not complex. Yeah, it's not too complicated. <laughs> uh, They're just there. Yeah. And are there any hydraulics in your aircraft? Uh, we just have our brakes, and they're just hydraulically actuated brake systems. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So the master cylinder for those brakes, where is that located? On the pilot side, underneath the brake pedals. Yep. Um, and so if you notice during taxi, I guess during your brake test, if you notice that the um, brakes are a little squishy, you can call them. Mm -hmm. um, what would you do? Check to see if the brakes need to be changed or anything. Check the master cylinders. If those are all good. If not, I'll just refer to maintenance. Yeah. Um, can you tell me about your electrical system? So the electrical system is comprised of a 28 volt uh, direct current with a 24 volt battery and a 60 amp alternator. Mm -hmm. So what's the, what would you say is the purpose of that battery? The purpose of the battery would be to power the plane, not completely because the alternator is there to like suck power and to like charge the battery as well. So in case your alternator is out, at least you still have your battery to still kind of give you some power within the plane to at least like, you know, fly and communicate and like have the necessary things that you need in a plane. Mm -hmm. So when you go to start your engine, is the alternator or the battery usually powering that? Battery. Yeah. Uh, what type of fuel do you use in your aircraft? 100 low lead. Mm -hmm. And what, how can you tell that it's 100 low lead? It would be blue. Right. Um, so what's kind of the reasoning of why it is colored blue? What's the purpose of the dye? So you can differentiate between like water, mm -hmm. if it's contaminated with water, which would be clear, and then the blue would just be the blue. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Between contaminants, different types of fuel. Mm -hmm. um, another good reason, um, in case there's a fuel leak, mm. so you can tell if there's blue streaks on your white aircraft. Easy way to tell. So we will be flying a G1000 equipped Cessna 172 today. Mm -hmm. um, so that G1000, where does it get its information for your flight instruments? So ADC, the air data computer, which is the pitot-static pretty much. Mm -hmm. So that, it takes that information from the pitot-static system, which then derives that information into the PFD for us, uh, which is the airspeed, the uh, attitude, and uh, VSI. Right. Um, and the other instruments that we typically consider gyroscopic, mm -hmm. maybe like your, your heading indicator and stuff like that, um, in this case, we have an HSI. Where does that HSI get its information from? AHARS, so that would be your attitude and uh, heading reference system, right. which is then connected to the magnetometer 
which creates like its own magnetic field and sends that information mm -hmm. to the plane. Yeah. So if you're flying along and you notice a red X appear over your airspeed indicator, your altimeter, and your vertical speed, what can usually uh, assume is the problem? So that would simply be your ADC like failing, mm -hmm. because if it wasn't failed, you would and like if you were getting like a zero reading, then your pitot-static would be blocked. But if it's completely X'd out, then it's just the computer itself failed. Mm -hmm. Right. Cool. So let's move on to human factors.